Coombe Cassius Rifle TV in association with MTK Global at the final press conference here for Fury versus Seferi this Saturday night live on BT Sport joined by promoter Frank Warren how are you Frank? I'm good yourself? I'm all good Lovely. it's very hot in here isn't it? it is it is it's a uh, oh, big room probably not got no air conditioning in here but it is like, as long as it's hot on Saturday that's all I care about the heat will hot be there the ring, you'll, you'll, heat. Bring the bring the heat. you'll bring the heat Frank we'll bring the heat we'll bring the heat Frank before we come on to uh, Tyson Fury I want to talk to you about Billy Joe Saunders yep. um, having to pull out of his fight with Martin Murray, which is scheduled for the 23rd at the O2. Um, Frank, you've obviously seen comments suggesting you know Billy Joe's got another fight he has lined got up. No, I, I hear that, so I'm interrupted. He has no fights. We've not negotiated any fights. There's nothing done. He's genuinely injured, and that's it. No one's more disappointed. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't say it. The fans are obviously disappointed, and I apologise to people who bought tickets, paid, you know, booked their hotels and travel, etc. You know, they're, uh, you know, it's, it's unfair on them. But unfortunately, he is injured. He can't fight. I'm disappointed. It's twice it's happened now on the trot. We paid for the venue. It's a big venue. That fight, you know, obviously we know the gate's not going to be what it was. So it's cost us a lot of money and a lot of time and effort in, in arranging and making fight. And I'm obviously very sad and sorry for Martin Murray, who's had two training camps and incurred expenses. But it happens in boxing and it's happened again. So it's a great shame. In the meantime, we're looking to try and find a good quality fight opponent, I should say, for Martin Murray. I don't want to let him down and, and get him in the ring. You know, get him in the ring on the night. So we're working on that and hopefully we're out something very quickly. Frank, without, obviously, that bill was being headlined by a world title fight between Saunders and Murray. Without that, was there the option to maybe move it away from the O2? No, it's, 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 you know, we could just get on with it. It's too complicated. It's only, we're three weeks away now. Yeah. So we haven't got enough time to do all that. And, uh, you know, I think we'll probably, we'll probably have about, you know, five, 6,000 people in there um, as it stands. But that's where we are. And, it's, and it is, um, you know, obviously we're not happy about it. But it does happen in sport. Happens in boxing, I should say, and we've seen it a lot of time. I'm sure it'll go on, it happen again in the future. I suppose people's thing with it is Billy Joe obviously has been in this situation before, so when it repeatedly happens. Well, it happens. I mean, yeah. it has happened with Bill. He's been injury prone, he's had quite a few pull outs, and it is frustrating for him, frustrating for the fans, as I said earlier, the opponents, and it's frustrating for us. It's not what we want. We don't, you know, we're not printing posters and booking venues and paying, you know, laying out yeah. you know, tens of thousands of pounds, hundreds of thousands of pounds for shows not to take place. Is the Saunders Murray fight something you will revisit? I don't know yet. We've got to sit down. I haven't a chance to speak to Bill because we've been tied up with it, or properly speak to Bill. We've been tied up with this fight a week and I certainly haven't spoken to Martin. So we'll just have to look and see what, where we go with it. What conversations have you had recently with Golovkin's team, Frank? I haven't had any conversation. No. They made uh, all the, there was a, a, a mention of uh, were we interested. I think that came, message came a few days ago, but nothing. No offers made. We've not made any offers. And the same with Canelo. I understand Canelo's talking about. So I've seen some report uh, from Oscar Del Rio. I was talking about Jacob. So that's where, it, where it's at. Okay, but is it something you're going to pursue in the of summer? It is. Listen, yeah. at the end of the day, let me tell you something. I don't think Canelo wants to fight Billy Joe Saunders anyway, in any shape or form. I was I banged on about it before. He had that fight up in Canada against Lemieux. Lemieux was a golden boy fighter. They sat there and they thought that Lemieux was going to do a job on Bill. Bill done an absolutely fantastic job on Lemieux and scared him off. And I told Bill after the fight, I said, that's put the nail in the coffin for that fight. That's not going to happen. They won't want that or be anywhere near you. And that's how it's proved how it's turned out to be. How it's turned out to be. Regarding that bill as well on the 23rd, Frank, is there any news regarding uh, Anthony Yard's opponent for that? Yeah, I'll, 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 again, on Monday, we, we're going to... Once we sort out where we are with Martin Murray, we're going to put all that out so that everybody uh, can decide whether they want to keep their tickets or return them. You know, they have 14 days to return tickets, you know, so if you, you bought a ticket and you don't want to go, you don't have to. But we've still got a great night's boxing there, some great fights on the car, some of great young fighters, so hopefully uh, people still come along. Any legs in this Joshua Boatsy Anthony Yard story that's sort of been talked about for the last Listen, few weeks? Uh, look, it's really simple that fight that, that, or that position. My man's number two. We it, we announced his fight a long time ago. Remember, we pushed his show back because Bill was, was injured, so he's fighting. You've got Boatsy, you've got Callum Johnson, and you've got um, Jose Burton with Matron. Why don't make the three fights? Let them fight each other. We'll fight the winner. What they keep worrying about what we're doing for? Those three fight each other, 
That's what I do with my fighters. My fighters go in with each other and fight. Did you the receive an offer for Callum Johnson to fight? Eventually, we did. Yeah, we used there. You, we sent it on the telephone, didn't we? Yeah, some bullshit. But it's, you know, it was to fight whenever it was. But we already got that. He's already on the show. He's already there. He sold tickets for the show. That's on that show. And my guy's more important than that. My man's number two in the world rankings. Worked very hard at getting in there, and that's where he's at. They got, you know, if you remember, the Border Control made a fight between. Um, they wanted to make two fights for, the, uh, uh, for that, that weight division. They wanted to make Callum Johnson against, um, I think it was uh, Frank Bullione, and they wanted to make Jose Burton against Anthony, Anthony Yard. We weren't interested in Jose Burton because he got beaten by Frank Bullione. We said, why don't you make the two London fighters against each other, make the two Manchester fighters against each other, and you got North versus South. It made a lot of sense, but they wouldn't do that. So we said, we're withdrawing him, we're going a different direction, and that's what we've done. So what's supposed to happen was that Jose Burton, Jose Burton supposed to have fought the winner, because that's how it was left. Why haven't they made that fight? Or make Jose Burton against Palazzi. Great fight for the fans. Should be hard to make with the same promoter. And you know that money that they've offered, what they keep talking about, that they offered Anthony on? Think, give it to your own fighters. Give it to them. I'm sure they'd like to get a few quid. The other two fighters, whoever it is, or the three fighters, you've got it there. Give it them. Give them the hundred grand or the hundred and twenty-five grand to fight Callum Johnson. You give Callum Johnson the hundred and twenty-five grand. Will you make any offers regarding Anthony Yard to fight any of those fighters on your show? Absolutely, would like to see. What we would like to do with that is let them three fight each other, and we'll fight the winner by Christmas. That should be sorted out. They can make those fights like that. They can make one of them now. Or make one of them for one of their shows in July or whatever it is, and then make the other one for October, and we'll fight the winner in December or January. Okay, Frank, moving on to this week. Um, yeah. He's back, uh, he's back. lively he's as ever today yeah, in the press good. conference. Yeah. Um, yeah, Frank, obviously, we spoke about the opponent. It's been said we knew what kind of opponent it's going to be, but listen to Sefa Sefari. He's saying he's not coming here to make up any numbers. Listen, let's get it right. Tyson's a big favourite, even though he's been out of the ring for nearly a thousand days. Sepharry has got a good record. He's only lost one fight. You know, that was at heavyweight, and that was a t he went 10 rounds with the WBA. Um, Mamul Char, yeah. Mamul Char. I can't think what. The, the WBA yeah, regular, regular champ, champion, yeah. So he went to. He holds the same belt as what Povetkin held. So he. That's, a, that, that's what he did. So he can't be that bad to go the distance with a champ. Uh, Char won, won the belt by beating Ustinov, who weren't a bad fighter, who's with us. So that's 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 where we're at. The, the bottom line of it all is, is Tyson getting experience, getting that ring rust out and getting in there. He's taller than Char, but if height's all about boxers, and I'm not saying he's a Mike Tyson, I'm not saying he's an Evander Holyfield, I'm not saying he's any of those shorter heavyweights. He's a short, he, he, you know, he is what he is. He's, what's he, 6'1", six, 6'2", six, whatever he, he, his height is. Tyson's an extraordinary big man. He's a giant over most of the fighters he fight. A bit like, a bit like Vladimir Klitschko was over most of the guys that he fought. He was a much bigger man. He's there now to go, go out there to get rounds under his belt, hopefully win it, get him back out as soon as possible. I want to get him into fight, fighting, mentally fighting fit. We know he's worked very hard in the gym. You've seen he's lost all the weight, but I want to see him in the ring, ring, rust all the way, and then we move on and see where we go from there. I know you announced, obviously, Tyson Fury will only fight this week on BT Sport. I saw some people being surprised by the fact that he wasn't on Box Nation, but just to re reiterate, Tyson Fury's fight is only on BT Sport Correct. this week. Okay. So people did, didn't know this, because I saw some comments well, saying... Been yeah, that way. No from the first press conference, it was always BT Sport. Absolutely. Correct. Yeah. Absolutely. Any news on Liam Smith? Liam Smith, we're negotiating at the moment with Golden Boy regarding his fight. He's... Uh, we're quite close to doing a deal, but if we don't get the deal done by tomorrow, I'm going to request it goes to Persman. I'm coming there, going to Persman. Can we just do the second part of this? Sorry, no, Frank, no. just pick this back up because you had to come do something, something Sorry, more man. important. Well, it was more important. They pay. You got me there. You got me there. Uh, Frank, we're just we're talking about Liam Smith and you were saying that if you can't reach a deal by tomorrow, you, you want to we're request it to go yeah, with Persman. for Persman because we're, you know, it's not fair on, on, the, on Liam and I want him out there and I want him to you know, win his belt back. Hmm. Is there a chance that that fight could happen in the UK? We, we will make a good, you know, if it goes to Perth, then we'll bid for it. Simple as that. Hmm. Okay. Um, 
big man's being interviewed there. Yeah, so. he is. Um, did you uh, speak to Sefer Seferi today, Frank? Did you ever chat yeah, with him? Yeah, I mean, well, he doesn't speak English, but, you know, sort of I, I thought he was getting hints of English in his... Well, a little bit, but, I mean, you know... Yeah. You know, but, yeah, uh, not too much. I didn't have too much of a conversation. But you, you believe he'll put up a, a decent show of himself? He ain't going to roll over, that's for sure. He ain't going to roll over. He's got a good record. You know, he's uh, he's gone ten rounds with Shah, who's the, uh, as I mentioned earlier, he's a WBA... Um, regular champion, so it is what it is. And you know, for Tyson's first fight fight back, he'd been out the ring for so long. Um, it's so long you'd hear him. Um, it's a, I think it's a, it's a good fight for him, for his comeback fight. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not going to say it, I just made it very clear at the beginning. I want him to get try and get the rust out of his system. That's what it's at. This is not, I'm not going to sit and say, oh, Sefer is the greatest fighter in the world, because he ain't the greatest fighter in the world, but he's a winning fighter. And you know he can bang, and and, I, and the only thing is, you know, people, and the other thing people bang on about, you know, his height and that. He's taller than me. He's, you know, he's six. What's he? Six, six one, six two. I can think of great heavyweights who are, who, are, who are that height. Height's not, you know, boxing not that height. Tyson's an exceptionally, exceptionally tall guy for a, for a, for a fighter, for a heavyweight, exceptionally tall. So he's always going to dwarf people and make them look. Frank, I'm assuming after this Saturday, obviously touch with everything goes well, but the level of opponents for these three kind of fights that he'll have at this sort of stage will be still upped in terms of yeah, calibre of opponents. Fight. He's, he's going to have another fight very quickly you know, comes through this, which I think he will do. I want to get him out as soon as possible. I just want to get the rust out of his system. Then we'll start looking at you know where we, where we go after that. Hmm. It was too early for him to go in with the likes of... Well, I think, Whoever. I think he could go in with them. I really do. He, he, he would do it. But, you know, the objective is to win the fights, not to, not to um, you know, just to... That, it's not a peeing contest. No, I'm all right. It's not a peeing contest. This is all about, you know, him making the right moves at the right time. And he's, a, he's the top man. And, uh, and when he's ready to go, I'll meet him. I'm not, I'm not here, you know, coming out with all this rubbish just to drum it up. He's got a way to go yet. He's got a way to go yet. Very good. All right, okay, Frank, have you got anything else you'd like to add? I don't know what's going on here. Gareth Davies with his long hair. I don't know hair. when she does his interviews. We've been going over there. What's, yeah. what's happening? I'm, I'm jumping in on this. What's going on? Have you got something to say, Google, and you, you say it to my you, face, yeah? Marvin Gaye. <laughs> <laughs> no, David Guetta. Okay. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. What's going on? Sorry, yeah. sorry. That's I've, all right. I'm yeah. going to get a lot of stick because I often um, kind of video get mistaken bomb. for him. N- n- no, I get mistaken for Coogan's father, believe it or not. Yeah. Because I went on Is a cricket. It, it was me. I went on a cricket tour to Sri Lanka 37 years ago, and apparently, I'm his dad. Really? Yeah. Old anyway, old I'll leave it at that. Oh, thank, <laughs> thank, thank God I'm only 36, Frank. What mate? He said 37 years ago. I said thank God I'm only 36. Anyway, you owe a lot of. Back payments, Alamy, they're looking for it. <laughs> Child support, welfare, whatever yeah, they call it these you know. days. Um, all right, Frank, have you yeah, got anything? Good. No, yeah, good. Yeah? Anything you can think of? Oh, we're good. All right, we're good. All right, well, listen, we'll definitely catch up in the week. I'll do that. I'll, and, see, uh, you. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, no problem.